Welcome to Vibratech Trainers and Consultant Private Limited. We are going to see a interesting case study on pump, identifying early defects, even though the vibration is well within limits. This is applicable for all types of industrial pumps except reciprocating pumps. Case study prepared by Vijaya Krishnan Vinugapal, Director of Vibratech Trainers and Consultants Private Limited Chennai. He is a chartered engineer with more than 35 years of experience. He is an international vibration consultant and ISO certified vibration analyst CAT3 certificate holder. Also he is certified maintenance and reliability professional from SMRP. The pump we are going to see are coupled directly with motor of capacity 500 kW and running at 2950 rpm. Pump is mounted on a steel frame on concrete floor at ground level without any anti-vibration mounting. Vibration measurements are taken in all three directions, horizontal, vertical, axle, in each locations. Measurement locations are, motor non-drive end bearing, motor drive end bearing, pump drive end bearing, pump non-drive end bearing. Vibration data are collected in terms of, displacement in microns peak to peak, and velocity in millimeters per second peak. Now onto the vibration limits. As per ISO standard, and with our previous experience, when the velocity falls below 6.58 mm per second peak it's considered as good, when the velocity falls between 6.58 to 15.8 mm per second peak it's is considered as fair, and when the velocity falls above 15.8 mm per second peak it is considered to be rough. The vibration values are maximum at motor on drive end horizontal, velocity up to 3.9 mm per second peak with displacement of 14 microns peak to peak, and at pump drive end horizontal, velocity up to 4.5 mm per second peak with displacement of 18 microns peak to peak, and the equipment falls under good category. We saw vibration levels are within limits and equipment falls on the good category. But on going through the spectrum and frequencies at motor non driven end dominant peak frequencies are two times and higher order frequencies, indicating bearing inaccuracies, and spectrums at pump driven side shows the dominant peak frequencies are one times two times and three times of running RPM, that indicates misalignment between motor to pump. The equipment is analyzed to have bearing inaccuracies and minor misalignment between motor and pump. As per analysis the suggested action are as follows. Inspect motor bearings for increased clearances, pittings, score marks in the balls, raceways, and if required, replace the bearing. Before replacing the bearing, inspect the fit between motor bearing with its housings and bearing to shaft. Ensure the fit between bearing with the housing are within limits by physically measuring the housing in a diameter dimension at every 45 degrees as per engineering practices, up to 0.025 mm difference in diametrical clearance between bearing outer race to inner housing diameter accepted. Carry out precision alignment between motor and pump with plus or minus 0.05 mm in both radial and axle direction. Vibratech cater among all major industrial sectors. We conduct vibration analysis level 1 and 2 training programs online and also in plant. ISO certified vibration analyst category 1, category 2, category 3 training and examination. Services we provide are vibration analysis, in situ dynamic balancing, laser alignment, motor current signature analysis, thermography, building or ground vibration measurements. We also market and provide service for machinery vibration analyzers and meters and low frequency building vibration analyzers.